Hey, hey, welcome back to Don't Run With Scissors. I'm Kelly, your favorite Jeep driving lawyer, mama twin, three crazy rescue dogs, a rescue cat, and four rescued guinea pigs who likes to craft in his spare time, has gone back to school to learn ASL, and is trying to train for Ironman. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the like and subscribe button. It sends me a message. It boosts my serotonin and my self-esteem, and I can always go for that. If you're returning, you already know the crazy you're in for, so grab your drink, sit on back, and let's have at it. It is Monday, March 27th, and you'd think I'd know that, but I don't. Um, I have court in just over an hour, but it's via Zoom. Can't you tell? Yeah. Um, I am sick, so um, still, still, the creepy crowd, whatever is going on, um, yeah. So my professor has been down with some sort of cough for quite some time, actually into last semester. Um, I don't have that. Then she got norovirus. Um, that is horrible. The twins had that when they were babies. That's horrible. We don't have that, but we have something going on and it is 50 shades of ugly. Um, so we are really intrigued. I have a scarf over there and I will just throw it around my neck. I will blur my background because the judge doesn't need to see my dirty dishes and um, or I might go sit on the couch and yeah when I get done with that I have to go and pick up the girl then I have to come back and film my video and I have to write a couple smart goals for my class that have to be directly related to um my ASL program and the rest of my time in the program. I've come up with one. I'm having a hard time coming up with another one with any more. I know that I, the problem, it's not that I don't have goals for in the program. The problem is they have to be measurable and I don't know how to make some of the goals that I have in my head measurable. Because it's, what is it? It's specific, measurable. I forget what the A is. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have it written down in my notes. So, um, yeah. So, let's see. This last week. This last week, uh, as always, I'd like to say... I say... It is my normal level of busy. So take that for what you want. You, you know, I mean, everybody's level of what they consider busy is different. Okay. That said, I, I don't know that I got a whole lot of stitching in. Um, did I get some stitching in? Yes. Um, did I get as much as I had hoped to? No. Am I okay with that? Yeah. I mean, as some of you have often said to me and reminded me, like when I get frustrated because I'm not meeting goals or whatever, um, for like challenges, stitching is supposed to be stress relieving. It's supposed to be fun. Um, and so, yeah, it's supposed to be fun. So, um, We've been also, I also had last week because of the way my schedule ended up being and having to shift thing. I ended up in PT Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for my back. Then Friday night, we went and saw the play at OCC with my fellow student interpreters. They were shadowing and interpreting. It was, they did, um, The play that goes wrong, and that is the card I have been looking for and couldn't find. Um, thank you for helping me find that. Um, so we did the play that could go that goes wrong. This was hysterical. This was hysterical. It was not a very long play. I think it was an hour and a half or so. Um, it was just 
really and truly it was it was well worth it and students so one of the nice bonuses of our program well our our school the college is students are free at these events so um i've tried to take advantage of them if nothing else just to go and see the interpreters my fellow su students and support them um but definitely good there's another one in the fall i forget what it is they've already announced it but I don't remember what it is because um, I reconfigured my hours with my professor. I still have to do a half hour, actually 29 minutes of observation because I have not, I mean, I could switch around where some of my hours have been placed and be fine, but I don't want to do that. Um, Observation hours are really not that hard to get. I just have to watch signing and not interact, like not be signing with somebody or be during mentorship hours. So like literally I could watch Disney, um, a lot of their videos now, you can get the Google Chrome extension called Sign Up and they have interpreting for a lot of the Disney movies. Um, there are a few on Netflix that also have that option, but not many, sadly. And then, um, honestly, on YouTube, there is tons of opportunities on YouTube to watch people signing. Um, one of my favorite shows on YouTube is called The Daily Moth. Um, it is all in sign. You can do the closed captioning. Um, the gentleman who is the main... Well, he's the main signer, but he's like a news. They give the daily news. So the Daily Moth gives you the, the news, but in sign. And he actually has moved back into this area. So sometimes he's at events. Um, and very nice gentleman. I've had the, the pleasure of meeting him and his girlfriend. Um, very nice. Very nice. Um, so that was very cool. Um so I like to watch that. So really and truly, it's like, I, I'll be done. Um, I'm over on mentorship hours. I'm over on, uh, on interactive hours. I, like, I'm fine. Um, I did, in fact, fail my exam, my midterm. Oh, yeah. I got a whole whopping 65. Yeah. Um, the, the saving grace is she is allowing us to redo our essay questions. And she allowed us to view them and view her feedback. Um, and so I have that. So that is on my agenda. They are due tomorrow. Yeah. Um, sun, Saturday, I was not feeling well and I rested. I know. Surprise. Those of you who know me know that that's a, a big deal. Um, I sort of relaxed and, and I needed that. Um, I still had, what else did I do on Saturday? I don't remember because Friday night we had the, the play. I don't remember. I'll be honest. I don't remember. Um, yesterday morning we went to the Hot Rod <laughs> Expo and then they had a Harley Expo next door and we snuck over there and walked around. Um, Y'all remember last time I went to the camping and RV expo with Nick and we had the leaf gutter filters person. They were there at the hot rod expo. Guess who got to talk to them with Nick again? Mm -hmm. Me. And again, proceeds to ask normal questions. And we're going, and we're going, and we're like, fine. And all of a sudden, Nick goes, can you put them on apartment complexes? Which then sent a spiral downward into, well, do you own the complex? No. How many units are in the complex? Turns out they can't do a multi, like, more than about four unit apartment complex. Um 
which seems rather odd to me. So yeah, so we had to deal with that. Uh, let's see. Then we went on. I also have my professor Glenn with us. And Glenn is... <laughs> I learned so much from him. It is amazing. And y'all, fingers crossed, there's an opportunity that is like a once in a lifetime opportunity that I may get to take advantage of with him. And so fingers crossed because, um, yeah, just, I, I don't even want to say what it is because I don't want to jinx it. And I just, just fingers crossed in prayers because we all know that you guys' prayers work and it is amazing and my dog bells are going on, so I apologize. Lizzie, relax. Calm down. Okay, so um did that. That took that was several hours. Um I woke up though yesterday morning and my body was just I don't know if my blood sugar was off or and, and there was no reason why it should have been. Um I wasn't feeling good. I didn't want to put food in my mouth. Then there was confusion about whether we should be at the expo at nine, at nine, or at ten. The doors opened at ten, but so there was so we were in this mad rush, and I don't do well when I'm in a match, so I didn't eat. So by the time we got done. It was like, we left a little after one and I was, I was crashing. So I grabbed something to eat, but my stomach was already so upset from the morning and everything that it was not pretty. It was not a pretty result. Um, but then, so I had to get changed and, and ready. And I went to my son's concert, um, which was fantastic. They do, um, he is part of the North Oakland concert band and they had their fun right one of their fundraiser concerts yesterday and it was and so they did small groups not the whole big concert band just small groups and it was really really cool so that was fun so then I came home and I'm gonna be honest I was absolutely exhausted I had a migraine going um Saturday I did client work and I got a, like my things to do list has never, like it hasn't been this small in eons. Like I, I don't remember it ever being this small, which is kind of freaking me out. Like maybe I'm forgetting something. So, um, I mean, there's still a lot, like there's still... That's my things to do list right now for the week. Want to see what my things to do list was last week? This tells you how much I got done. Mm -hmm. That was the week before. Oh, that was the month. Yeah. So. Oh, and then I keep, I keep my DMC floss that I need for different projects, but I don't think that's what I need those. I have a big list and I, I usually write what I need them for as well, but I, and I wrote down something, but I don't think that's actually what they're for the project. So that'll be an adventure to figure out when they come in, because we all know that 99% of the time before that's what I would do. So, okay. Um, and some of these. Like I have homework listed. So, but some of these aren't going to take me very long. Like they're a quick letter. I just need to type and send off. Um, I just need to, to send a, um, quick email. Hey, signees. Yeah. Crazy. So if all goes well, um, it will be good by the end of the week. Uh-huh. Crazy. Um, what else? So yeah, so that's the big thing. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, like, getting ready for Easter. I have almost all of the stuff I need for the kids 
Surprisingly, my daughter this time was the easy one to get stuff for her basket. Usually she's the harder one to shop for. So I still have to get something small for my son. But nothing like, it's been fairly easy. Um, we don't do huge Easter baskets, but I mean, they still get Easter baskets. So that's kind of fun. Uh, nobody has a clue what they want for Easter dinner. So, um, yeah. So what have I been doing since clearly stitching? Not so much, which is fine. I did not FFO anything. It was another one of those where I wanted to, but I didn't. I got the drawer front on the second drawer. And I pulled out the drawer that the front is broke on and I have all the pieces. I just need to sit down and heat up my glue gun. Um, so that may happen this week. It's not going to happen today. Today I have literally, I have court that I have to pick up the kid. I have to record some homework. I had to do my goals. Then I have class tonight and I have to work on my essay questions and stuff for tomorrow. Um, yeah. So. Um, whip go numbers were called, Let, let's get into the stitching because now we're 16 and a half minutes and we haven't talked about stitching and there's a lot. I mean, there's not a lot like normal, but there's a lot. They're still stitching. Okay. So whip go calls for April were done and I got, let's see, it was five and 17. And for me, that's Jeep Van Gogh and Rosie, which ironically are the same as this month which I have not met those goals for yet and won't in March because I'm going to run out of days. That's fine. That's absolutely fine because mine are year goals. So I'll still, I'm going to be fine. I just, yeah. Um, I'm also not going to be able to finish the entire round of all seven of my full coverages for whip warriors. They did the lion and the lamb and it was a thousand. You're supposed to put a thousand stitches into each of your full coverages, starting with the one that you have the least in going to the one that you have the most in. I am actually on my last of the seven. I think I have, you know, I have more notebooks than a normal person should have. And I don't know quite why I have so many notebooks, but I do. And then I'm always looking for the right notebook that I have. Um, I think I put in 350 stitches so far out of a thousand. I don't think I'm going to get to a thousand before the end of the end of the semester. The end of the month. I'm okay. It's okay because I still got a lot of progress done. That means I, I put in a thousand or more stitches into six pieces plus some other stuff that I've done. So I did work on pandemic though. This is my last of my seven. Um, I worked in here. This is page three. I think it's five pages across. Um, this is by long, this is pandemic by long dog sampler. Um, as you can tell, I am insane and I have decided that it needed to be full coverage because it wasn't big enough and monumental enough. Why not turn it into full coverage? So that's where we're at. I do hope there's not much left on this page. There's a little, well, on this page here, there's not much. I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, still, still get in some more on that this week uh, before the end of the month. Um, and then we'll go back to my, um, my goal on Rosie and filling in with Jeep Van Gogh. Um, my personal goal is to get Rosie done 
so that I can have it all framed in the mail so that he can open it up on Christmas Day. Um, so to do that, obviously, if I did 400, 500 stitches a day, it would take me under three, under four months to do. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. Um, it hasn't happened lately that I've hit 500 stitches a day. And that's okay because, again, the, the po point is not to stress me out any more than I already am. Because also, it turns out, um, I have an internal loop recorder um, that records my heart. And it uploads every night to my cardiologist's office. Um... So I found out over the weekend too, I've been setting it off for more than a week and didn't know that. Nobody told me. So I need to um, be more cognizant of my heart. Now, nothing is seriously wrong. What is happening is we're having some AFib. I hope I'm getting the term. Where my heart is beating kind of irregularly. And sometimes there's a long it's just over the normal range for being a long like I don't understand it like I, I don't understand it my cardiologist assures me I am fine it is likely a stress issue because we've monitored everything else I just had an echo I I've had EKGs recently like we've done all the tests that like structurally nothing's wrong so we're just he's like let's just be more mindful and i'm like okay i do see him in april my ear itches um so yeah so um one of the things i did get to work on not very much and that's okay it's okay i keep telling myself it's okay it's very frustrating to me not to have more done. Um, last week's 52 card pickup was the, um, don't come at me. I already know. I already know we've had this discussion. Um, last week's card was the one of hearts. You know, the one of hearts. It's in every deck, don't you know? For me, that was my mermaid. My mermaid is actually by Meridian Designs. It's Kristen, the Arctic mer mermaid. I have decided that when I get to that point, because y'all, um, I am going to do a conversion. She is charted um, as more of an African-American woman with long hair. I loved her. She's also um, a fuller figured woman, which I love that Meridian Designs does fuller figured mermaids. But this is for my beach wall. So she kind of needs to be more of a pasty white big big girl. <laughs> so I am going to rechart the colors um, so that she reflects my skin tone and my hair. But I did get some work done on her. You can't even see it. It's the Krynik up top. No, seriously. You can't. I don't like it. I like part of me is half tempted to flip my fabric because clearly I have enough. We all know how I feel about big pieces of fabric is to flip her, flip my fabric and just start on the mermaid and maybe leave it's, I don't have the cover photo with me. It is Kristen, the Arctic mermaid by Meridian designs, uh, or, Arctic Ocean Mermaid. So it's the mermaid with a porpoise. I think it's a porpoise. Um, and then it's supposed to be like the, the shimmering crystal water above. Um, I'm half tempted to just, like I said, flip it around, restart it, and just stitch the mermaid in the porpoise. Um, and maybe leave off the crinic in the top. That said, I mean, I am kind of to the halfway point of the Krynik on the top. I don't know. 
I feel like I would be farther along on her and want to stitch her more um, if I wasn't stuck on that Krynek. Because you can't get like a big piece and just go. I mean, it's all the same color. You just can't like, it's like pulling, it's like nails on a chalkboard when I pull it through my, you know, that's how it feels like. Um, but for now, Kristen goes away because she's not on my whip go board. So when I want her, I'll pull her out. But right now I'm not feeling her. Okay. So this next week, it's the two of diamonds. For me, that is my Japanese good luck doll, um, by Jonesy Stitchery. It's the Daruma doll, my little chunky Daruma doll. So that'll be a nice, cute project to take wherever with me because it's kind of small. Um, okay. In here is my, so, my Sing A Song Sampler by Silver Creek Samplery. Um, I am selling this with Tina. Now I believe that Shiloh at Stitch MD is starting this as well. And there's a couple other people. So it's hashtag Do Re Mi Sal and hashtag Sing A Song Sampler Sal. Um, I am converting it. I'm not doing the call for. I think out of the whole group, I'm the only one not doing the call for. Go figure. Is anybody here surprised that I'm not doing the call for on something? No. Okay. So I did work. I work on this on Sundays. That's the deal with um, Tina is we work on it on Sundays. I work on it for at least an hour. Clearly yesterday, I did not get a whole lot done, but I did start me. So it's my yellow square. Um, this is a gift. It will be a gift for my son. Um, so yeah, so that was good. I enjoy working on it on Sundays. Um, to be honest, it's, it's a nice, it's just like part of me likes having a plan and going, Oh, okay. No thinking just it's, it's Sunday. That's what I work on. Like it's Thursday. That's what I work on. Um, that works really well for my brain. Um, do I allow myself to work on other things? Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. Says the woman with 50,000 whips. Okay. The other thing I worked on this week was, um, my summertime by Primrose Cottage Stitchery. Stitches? Stitches. Um, I went to the craft day with my one, um, tutor mentor. And so I was interpreting for her because some of the people that were there um, are not deaf. So here's the thing. Okay. This, this is a pet peeve of mine. So the event, they meet the third Thursday of each month. That's fine. This was my first time attending. My mentor has been there before. Know some of the women. The one woman signs. She's hard of hearing and she signs social and she also talks. So she sim comes. Um, another of the women who knows my person um, doesn't talk directly to her. She literally would call over to another woman and go, hey, tell so-and-so this. Now, my mentor is deaf, but she does have some hearing, and she wears um, processors, so she, she, she can hear some. Not a whole lot, but she can. Talk to the person. Talk to the deaf person. It, it was mine, but it was so frustrating. It was so frustrating for me. So, I got in the rest of the suitcase stack and started on the word vacation. Um, again, secretly my goal is to have this just about done so that I can maybe finish it at StitchCon this year because I started it at StitchCon last year. We don't judge how long whips take in this on this channel, just so you guys know. 
we don't we, we just go with it but it would be kind of cool to be able to ring the bell this year um for this one um so in order to do that it does need to become a little bit more of a priority than it has been um but this is the one that i took with me to stitch on with everybody and i don't know what made me think to take a linen project not knowing what the lighting situation was and the where we stitched wasn't the um best lighting for working on that um plus then i would i have to stop and interpret um and so it wasn't the best of projects to take now going forward because we're going to go again um and keep going and i said absolutely i will go as long as i don't have obviously another appointment but i i can schedule because i know it's third thursday of the month from you know 10 to 2. um and so you know i'll just schedule that block of time um okay sorry with having court soon i, I need to keep checking my um so i'll just take something I, i'll take an ada project to be honest um, and that's okay all right so the next one was a new start and i don't know why but i just now that i've started these i want them all done like just get them done kind of thing like do you guys get like that um so i started the lizzie kate spring string it just made sense to do them in order although i did thanksgiving first so don't ask um i did and it's supposed to be here today i believe excuse me order the kitty string from one two three stitch um, I also ordered a Christmas present or a birthday present for somebody. I ordered, I ended up ordering three things. And when I ordered the first one, I was like, well, I can't travel alone. I might as well just go ahead and get it. And I think it was on sale. So it was like, that's fine. So kitty string is coming my way. Um, however, I, I stitched the A and I, in the called for it. And I was like, hmm, not loving that. Um, it seemed kind of like to me, spring should be sort of, bright light like more pastels and the purple that it called for was kind of drab and i was like mm, yeah we're gonna have to do a conversion because we all again it's me and why would it? the other thing is is then i went to stitch the next one the b is actually a bunny super cute um yeah the white floss or what it, it's not white that's called for but it's it's pretty close to white um didn't show up on my fabric so I have done a conversion. So um, as that unfolds, you will see that. Um, but all I got in that day was A. Was A. But, but, I know. This will sh shock the heck out of you guys. Do you see how much room I left between my two strings? Aren't you proud of me? That's like four inches. Which means I got a two inch border between the two of them. Which will make finishing much easier. We'll see if I keep that, that up going forward. Okay. What else did I stitch on? Y'all, we are so close to a finish on this. I'm so excited. We have hit over 80% now on his name is jesus um i do need my order from, from um yamir to come in soon because i ran out of the darkest brown that i stitched the center his name is jesus in so i'm hoping that ships and comes in soon because it was ordered a while ago and i'm a little frustrated i love her soaks i i have that order and then i have an order from fortnite fabric that i ordered Heck, the end of January, and no hiding hair of that either. And I know that there's some issues going on at Fortnite Fabric, and I'm not going to get into it because it's not my place. Um, but all I'm saying is communication is key. Communication is key. I will wait. Just tell me what's going on or how long I'm going to be waiting for so that I can plan appropriately. Um, but anyways, this is his name is Jesus. 
So I finished down here. I did Lord of Lords. Then I came back up here and have added Savior and World. So I'm thinking just a couple more Thursdays. Although I did work on it other than Thursday this week. Um, and sometimes I do that just because it's, it's a fun, easy stitch for me to pull and do. Um, I think it, it'll be done fairly soon, which is kind of cool because Tammy's birthday is April 1st. So I'd really like to get it done as close to that for her as possible. Um, so we shall see. Okay. That is all of my stitching that I believe I did. I don't think I actually got to work on Rosie. I don't think so. Um, they're working on a place down the street for me. And so like the trucks are going off and that is what's set, setting off the dog, dog bells. Okay. So haul. This week I actually have a lot of haul. Again, we don't judge. Um, I seem to go in waves. Um, I am expecting, like I said, the one package from 123 Stitch that should be here today. And then um, I guess whenever my floss and my fabric come in, you'll see those. Um, but I placed an order for market and that came in. So thank you, Bobby. Um, I ordered from Pumpkin Creek Primitives because y'all, my girl Bobby usually has me covered. Um, I am going to be ordering a couple more charts, but um, I may spread a little love. But, but, but Bobby sent me a thing of banana ta Laffy Taffy, like this rope of banana taffy. And it was so good. And so if Bobby, Bobby promises to send me more banana Laffy Taffy, I'll keep ordering from Bobby. Um, okay, so I ordered a couple things from Market. And one of them was, of course, Starbarks from Plum Creek. Plum, Plum Creek. Plum Street Samplery. Samplers. Um, it will go with my the rest of the Wiener Dog series that I own. I have stitched two out of the series so far. Um, I did start to kit it up. I need one more floss. Um, so yeah, but, um, I, I think in my kitchen, I need to start a coffee, coffee wall of coffee stitches. Um, because I also did, but first we drink the coffee, then we do the things and this will go with it. Um, so yeah, so I got that. And like I said, I started kidding it up. Um, let's see. Okay. My, my little pile got out of order. I also ordered this, the first three in this series. So there's the polar bear, the walrus, and the whale from Hands On Design. Now it is my understanding and in reading this that there are two more charts to be still released like this. And then there'll be a special sixth one that will only be a PDF through the website and all of the proceeds from the sixth one will go to special Olympics, which is cool. Cause last year they did, was it last year or has it been two years now? They did the pumpkin, the philanthropic limited edition pumpkin and I was lucky enough to procure one that had to have been two years ago because I didn't know how to stitch on linen and I figured I'd just swap out the linen, but now I can stitch on linen. So now I can do it, but I haven't done it yet. So, but these are so, so cute. So I got those because yeah. Um, I got the spaghetti Western sampler. So on the bottom it says yeehaw for good food and social good food and social justice. Um yeah. And given everything that has been said to me lately by some people, this may need to be a new start fairly soon. Now, I'm not 
the call for is by Cedar River Liden. And it's like this, it's a red. I'm not sure I'm going to stitch it on that, which may mean that some of the called for, I'm going to have to convert. Um, now the nice thing I will say about Artist Design is not only does she give you the gentle art floss number and color name, she gives you the DMC and a Cosmo thread conversion. Like that? Yeah. So we have that. Um, I did get one of the cookbooks with all of the recipes and some of the cute little charts in it. Um, I have not, I, I've really fast done a flip through of looking at recipes and the charts, but I haven't planned to cook anything yet out of it. Okay. So here's the, uh, the last one I got from market and I'm going to take the one thing out and I'll show you that in a second. So I got the snowman stacker from praiseworthy stitches. I fell in love with him. I mean, he's so cute. Right? Like, he's so cute. Okay. So, you buy the this. And in it, well, it was in a separate bag. And I was like, what the heck is Bobby sending me, right? Because it's this. And I'm like, what What do I do with it? Like, what? what is this? I was like, do I, like what sort of free prize is this mm -mm. no y'all i'm an idiot so of course i messaged bobby and and i mistakenly included in our thread with jessica so i'm like what is this and they're like oh the comments we could make yes it, it is the thing that you hold him stack Okay. Oh, I'm not even done. Um, okay. So my order came in from Ye Old Cross Stitchery, which is in Bristol, Pennsylvania. I have been waiting on this. So I thought she had it actually in the store. She actually was waiting on an order. The order finally came in. Um, I had saw this on Instagram. It was posted by Stitches of Heritage. I will double check that and I will try to put remember to put it down below. Um, and I will say that the pattern picture does not do it justice because when she posted it on Instagram, the picture, I was like, um, now. Now, I, I, now I want that. Um, and so, yeah, but the picture that I'm going to show you on the cover, you're like, mm, it's cool, but mm, I don't know. So, um, I do not, I, I'm not, go I, I will tell you right now, I'm not going to do justice to the story behind this. And I feel badly for that. So I'm going to highly advise you to go to, Stitches of Heritage Instagram and read about this. But this is the Mary Pets sampler. And it was produced by or reproduced by Queenstown Sampler Designs with um, part of the proceeds go to the Oblet Sisters of Providence in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, they ran apparently a free school for um, African American children um, back. Like, was it during slavery? It could be, or right after slavery was ended. Um, but again, go go read the thing on Stitches of Heritage Instagram. It's way better than what I'm saying. So this was stitched, um, one of the few samplers that was stitched by a um, African-American little girl. And um, 
she's just glorious. I mean, that house, that duck, I mean, it, that duck. And for some reason, I am absolutely enthralled by that gate and the fence. It is totally not my general style, but I love it. So, when am I going to stitch it? I don't know right now. Am I going to stitch it? Yes. Is it going to get started this week? Likely not. Um, so then... When she sent my pattern, she also included some freebies from, I think they were at market, market freebies maybe. So here's one by Cherry, and I'm going to hold them back further. So Cherry Hill Stitchery, Happy Easter, how fun is that? Um, the Blue Flower, this is a market 2019 release. So Stitcher's going to stitch. And then this is from... Plum Street Samplers, and it's a Patriots sampler. And it's kind of cool. It's got the American flag, but it also looks like, I think they're red poppies. So how fun is that? And the phrase is really cool. Um, and then there's a small one called the Ladybug Pin Picnic from Hands On Design. So always appreciate those. I mean, that's cool. Um, okay. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> I know. Seriously, somebody needed to stop me. Okay. So then I was gifted this, actually. And I cannot wait to start this. This will make a cute ornament for my beech tree that I want to do. So it is the Quirky Quaker Flamingo. I know that I have the Loch Ness Monster one. And I, I want to say there's this... I think the Loch Ness Monster is part of a series of three where they're like three cryptids, where it's like the Loch Ness Monster, Yeti, and... Sasquatch I think and I think that's the only other ones I, I do have I would like to collect the rest of these and, and stitch them all um, okay so let's see I'll save that for a minute okay so then Stephanie from Lindy Stitches um, sent out her email and um, I don't know the other shops that are doing this, but the heartstring samplery, um, Beth twist has been doing like anatomical alphabet series. And then with them, um, the proceeds from the pattern then get donated to a charity. So Stephanie has now gotten the pleasure of hosting two of the parts in anatomical parts. And, her charity is an organization that helps foster kids who have aged out of the system and essentially are on their own at 18 kind of thing. Um, and the statistics are staggering. So if you don't get Lindy Stitches newsletter, you absolutely need to sign up for it. But the second I saw this one, I went and I had to buy it for the girl child. Um, and I think I'm going to stitch it on a higher count linen. And then I'm going to make them into ornaments for her. So I do need to get the other parts because apparently this one is the newest release and it's eight. Now Stephanie has two of them. So I got the two from her shop. I've got to figure out where the other ones are from. So if you know, if you could let me know, that would be great. But we have N is for nerve. I think that's fantastic. So then while I was there, I was like, well, I might as well buy them both. K is for kidney. Actually, for kidney stones. But that's a kidney. I know one of the shops has G is for gallbladder. I'm not even sure what the other parts are. Which sounds really weird, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so then the other thing that caught my eye, and I immediately went and bought it, it is from 
Yasmin made with love. And I'm probably not going to pronounce them right. And like all of my Polish ancestors are probably like rolling over in their graves. I'm going, girl, you're Polish. What the heck? Okay. So I have been on a hunt for more examples of st Polish stitchery, um, for lack of better, like a Polish sampler or whatever. Um, Yasmin for Love has some beautiful patterns. She also did the the diversity one that I need to start, but I haven't. Um, so she put out this pattern. I was like, yes, please, because I can remember being little and my mom having the actual eggs that are like this. And I think they were my grandmother's, but I like we never made them. But I understand like they're part of my culture. The Polish culture. Um, so I think it's Pazanki eggs. They're the folk Easter eggs. And usually they're done on real eggs with wax. And then you dip them in the, like, the, yeah. A lot of you, it's also very Ukrainian. And Russian, I think, does them too. Um, so yeah, so I had to run off and grab those. So I wanted to stitch them. I know logically they should be done on a red fabric. I don't know that I want to stitch them on red fabric. So if I don't stitch them on red fabric, I will just fill in the egg with red, which is fine. That that's not it. Like, I don't have an issue with that. Um, so yeah, so they, um, They represent beauty, fertility, rebirth, and life. So generally they're draw, like you draw the design on with wax and then you dip them into dyes, um, which gives you the beautiful colors. So then you, those eggs then go in your Easter basket. And when you take your Easter basket on with the rest of your Easter food, um, to church that day, they're, they're all blessed. Um, so yeah. And then I guess she's saying that a lot of families and friends, um, they'll exchange them amongst themselves and to bring good health and prosperity. So while I don't know that any of you will be getting an egg from me in time for Easter, um, that may be something I do. So the only other thing that I have um, it was, it's a loaned chart. It has no cover picture. Um, but I am a member of Alpha Gamma Delta. Um, I'm still very connected with a lot of my sisters, um, my sorority sisters. And after watching another floss tuber who I can see her face, but cannot remember your name. She is a member of... I want to say she's Alpha Kappa Alpha, but that might be wrong. And I believe her husband is an Omega Sci-Fi. Again, I could be wrong. They live down south, though, and she teaches home ec. And they're now building a house. See, I can tell you everything, but can't tell you her name. She stitched her sorority and his fraternity's like crust. And I was like, you know, I, I have been wanting to stitch my sorority's crust for a while, but I didn't have the pattern and I haven't been able to find it. And I know it existed because when I pledged and was a mom, like an undergrad, uh, um, I went to visit the Greek shop at OSU and they had it. Ladies, relax. And I didn't get it at the time. And I don't know why I didn't get it, but I didn't. And I have regretted not getting it ever since. Um, so one of my sorority sisters graciously is loaning me her pattern. So I need to, um, 
hurry up and make my working copy and get going on that. Um, so, yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, my table is a mess. Um, as far as organizing and cleaning, I got the, sh the other front door drawer, or it's a fake drawer front. There's no drawer there. There never has been. There can't be because of where the plumbing is in the sink. Um, that's finally on both sides, and that makes me happy. Um, so this week, honestly, is just to keep reducing my things to do list to um, keep working on healing my back, not overexerting myself because I'm exhausted. Um, and really and truly just kind of um, enjoying stitching again. Um, if I get more stitches into pandemic, great. Um, if not, that's fine. Um, I mean, it will get done eventually. It will get done eventually. I also still need to finish the band on Bruno's sweater. Um, but really, I want to work on Rosie and Jeep Land Girl. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of glad that those were pulled again. Those are two pieces that I love and adore. So I have no problem um, continuing to work on those. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are. I would like to FFO some stuff, but I don't know. This Friday, um, I'm going to go to the... The Home Improvement Building Expo with Nick and maybe Glenn trip it. So we'll see, but realistically, I just kind of want to keep um, knocking more stuff off my list, as you guys know. So I'm going to let you go so that I can throw on my scarf and um, probably go sit on my couch so that I can face the blank, like have the blank wall behind me. Um, and get ready for court. So we'll talk to you guys later. If there's anything I can do, please, 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 please send me a message. I am his princess Kelly on Instagram. Um, you can always reach out to me at, um, on Facebook or whatever. So with that said, I will talk to you guys later. I can't, Oh wait. Oh no, we did. We did do the number because I always forget because then I'm like, well, I know what I'm working on, but maybe you guys, if you guys are playing along, is anybody doing this with me or am I just out here doing this long? Again, two of diamonds. Um, if you're doing this with me, let me know what your two of diamonds project is. Would love to know. Um, so yeah. Um, the other thing I'm just gonna say this, don't settle for less. If somebody, yeah, that, that, that's, don't settle for less. So, um, with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Like I said, I've got court in a few minutes and I will talk to you later. Bye y'all.